Hey guys, it's your boy Scandi here and today I'm going to be showing you how to emboss logos onto things like t-shirts, jumpers, hats, trainers or anything that you want to use and to do that we're going to be using displacement maps. So the first thing you want to do is click Control and N to start a new project. Now for your width and height make sure that's the same as the picture that you're going to be using. So I'll just click this off Oops. and then find the image so right click go on properties and then details and then you've got your width and your height so I'm looking at 650 by 575 650 575 click OK then I want to drag and drop the picture that I'm going to use into Photoshop and just rescale that to fit and this way I get the maximum resolution as well. Click the check or press enter. Then you want to bring in your logo. And just for this, I'm only going to use the YOLO. Click on that tool. It's going to ask me to rasterize the image, so I'll press OK. And get rid of the outside. Now the next thing you want to do is resize the image so it looks like it's actually on the cap. So to do that I'm going to press Control and T for transform and then I'm going to right click and click warp. I'll just zoom in a little bit, alt and scroll and then I'm going to bring these bottom edges to look like the round part of the cap. there we go and then zoom out and then it kinda looks a little bit more like it's on the hat it goes round a little bit now the next thing that you want to do is make your layer so to do that you want to click channels and then that will bring you over to your red green and blue so get rid of this go over to my channels and then I want to find the one that's got the most contrast between the colors so I'll start with red go to green and blue. Now for this I think I'm going to use blue. So what you want to do is right click duplicate layer and then save the document as new. I'm going to save mine as RGB. For the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to save it on the desktop so I can find it easier. So RGB save yes because I made one earlier and then that's done. Then what you want to do is go back to your original document, click on your RGB to show all again and make sure that all of these are blue. So by doing that you click RGB. Once that's done go back over to your layers and show your logo again. Next what you want to do is go to filter, distort and then displace. Now make sure that your horizontal scale is on 10, your vertical scale is on 10, the displacement map is stretched to fit and the undefined areas is repeat edge pixels. Press OK. Then it's going to ask you to find the displacement map. Now mine opens not as normal on desktop so there it is. Now as you can see that embosses the logo onto the cap around the edges so when you really zoom in you can see there look and then I'm going to zoom back out again now what I want to do next is make the threading kind of come through so that's not just solid black so to do that what I'm going to do is go over to here and you want to use this set of tools so overlay soft light hard light vivid linear pin light hard mix these are the best ones for blending so I'll just show you I'll just click through a couple now if you want to scroll through quickly just press alt and then roll on your mouse now for the sake of this I'm going to use hard mix I'm going to turn the opacity down to 85 percent and I'm going to take the fill down to 90 percent
So when I look at the image at roughly about its true size, you can see that it's fully embossed onto the cap. I hope you like this video guys, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.